Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can merge different shapes in Figma to create new ones. There are four actions we can apply between shapes. We call them geometry actions and the result will be different depends on the action we choose. So let me show you what I mean. Here I am in the blank document. That's figma.com. I'm using a free version. Let me just draw two shapes. So we got something to interact with each other. So we need at least two shapes. You cannot do it with just one shape. All right, so I got one shape here, a nice circle, and then I will change the fill color on the right side. All right. For the second one, I will just simply duplicate this one. So I can use a command C command V shortcut. That was quick. Let's modify the color. All right, I will scale them up a bit. Nice. And now we will overlap this guy here. All right. And when I select both like that, you may notice there's something here above. We got boolean groups. This way we can apply four different operations. Let's start with the first one called union. It can also be called add. And it will end up with one shape so we turn both shapes into new shape take a look if i open up this union in my layer panel on the left i can still see those building blocks so those shapes are here but we unite them into a new shape so this is compound means we can still access those original shapes that editable it's non-destructive action all right so that's nice Let's try something else. I will undo several times. All right, so union, really simple, create a new shape out of two shapes. What if you use the second one, subtract? Take a look. The shape at the top, create a hole in the shape below. We subtract. If I change the order here in the layer panel, that's other way around. So the shape at the top will be subtracted from the shape below. All right. This is perfect for making holes in our shapes. The third action we need to know is intersection. So this middle part, take a look. Now only this middle part is up and everything else is subtracted. And the last thing is very much a uh, opposite of that. So that's exclude intersection when intersection disappears. And as I mentioned, it's compound, so we can still modify that stuff over here in the layer panel. So there are four actions. And if you are coming to Figma from a vector editing background, like Adobe Illustrator, Affinity Designer, Inkscape, you know all of that stuff already, and you are quite, quite intuitive about this. But if Figma is your very first vector editor, because the Figma is vector based, even though you may use it for designing websites and apps, the core tools are like same as in the any other vector editing tool. So you will need to learn some basics, those four fundamental actions. This way you can modify any shape using another shape. And that's really, really powerful. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say we want to create a quick emoji. We don't want to just copy this emoji from the internet. We want to have our own. So what if I have two shapes like that? Again, copy and paste. And now I will create a compound. So I'm going to subtract. I use those two circles to make a hole on the left and the right side. And now Let's draw one more circle here. Then I will use the rectangle above. Let me change color so we can see that there are two different shapes. All right. And again, I will subtract here. That was uni union. Undo, subtract. And I will use this as some kind of creepy smile. <laughs> All right. And then using this one, we can again, subtract from the bigger one. And we end up 
with a nice emoji where we can modify the color and we didn't have to pay for it or we didn't have to use the third party software like Adobe Illustrator to create this. We use just those operations to match different shapes together, uniting, subtracting, and we end up with nice emoji, all right? If you are very new to vector operations like this, you should check out one website. That's not a sponsor video, just, just the website I use at school because I'm a design and technology teacher, high school, so I use that with kids and it's really helpful for them. So there's a website called bullenmethod.ac. You can see the address right now on my screen over here. And here you will kind of learn how to merge different shapes. And take a look, we got four operations at the bottom. Union, subtract, intersect, difference. So exactly the same operations from Figma, exactly the same operations from Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer or Inkscape. All right. So they will kind of guide you through those. Take a look. They tell you to move a rectangle here. And we got triangle here. You now unite these two shapes. Bam. And we got very nice icon for a speaker all right so this is really really handy to learn those basic interactions by using this website you will get this kind of intuition what can be made with those four actions and this way you will be more effective in figma as well so take a look we don't need to search for the cloud icon you just have two circles and one round corner rectangle you unite this together and we end up with nice cloud icon okay so let's try to do it in figma as the last thing for today so let's make this cloud as well so use that website for practicing all of that knowledge can be useful for you later in figma so take a look we got one circle another one to maintain the proportion of the oval hold shift on your keyboard all right so we got another one here and what they also suggest us is to use this kind of rectangle, but we need to round corners all the way, all the way like that. So that's an interesting suggestion and seems like it's really, really helpful. All right. We got those rounded corners. The shapes are nicely snapping. That's helpful as well. We got those red snapping lines and we select all three. We click union and we got a nice cloud icon here all right so seems like that technique we just learned from that website it's can be applied here in figma as well and keep in mind it's all vector based we can change the field color scale it up and down apply stroke on it as well no problem here so i recommend you to learn about those four actions it will be really handy for you if you plan to use Figma in the future. Thank you for today and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.